Hey there, Nick Drinitakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use your browser's bookmark tabs feature to help automate processes you might be doing in your day to day. For example, every morning I like to keep a pulse on the tech community, so I'm going to sites like Hacker News, slash dot, and a handful of different subreddits on Reddit. And this is not limited to tech, right? You can be going to any sites that you'd like. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but the workflow is the same, right? To go to these sites manually, you would have to like open up a new tab, go to Hacker News, open up another tab, go to slash dot, open up six other tabs, go to various different uh, other sites that you're interested in. And that could be totally automated, right? Uh, lots of different browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, they all have different ways to automate this. And we're gonna be focusing on using Chrome here, but it's gonna be very similar with other browsers as well. And I almost didn't make this video, but I am using another browser extension here called Momentum, where we get a different picture and a nice little quote here or whatever, uh, every couple of hours or every day. And this one quote here said, don't allow your rituals to become ruts. And it kind of made me think about, you know what, maybe this video is worth making because, you know, if you do have a ritual where you're doing something manually, like opening up seven different browser tabs every morning or something like that, then uh, yeah, it's nice to be aware of that so that you could potentially automate that one. And I wouldn't describe opening up browser tabs as being in a rut, but there is some like negativeness to having to do something manually. And you know, this channel is all about being a developer. We kind of cover all sorts of different topics and you know, workflow optimization and things like that definitely falls on this list. That's also uh, why I'm making this video as well. Although it does feel like one of those things where it is like local man discovers fire, but then realizes he's about a million years late, right? Because um, things like bookmarks and uh, groupings of tabs is not very new in terms of browsers. Stuff like this has been around forever. But yes, let me show you the end result first here and we'll go over how to get there. So in this case, I have a, a tech news folder here. And if I just right click this folder, then we can just open all these up into a new group. Technically, I've could have opened them up in individual tabs without being in the group. That's independent. But you know, now uh, and within a couple of seconds here, you know, as these sites are concurrently loading up, I can consume and glance things that I want to look at, and you know, I can choose to maybe either close these down one at a time, or I can just go to the group itself here and right-click that one and just close the entire group. So it's really nice and easy, painless, right? Quickly open up a whole bunch of tabs, do what you want, and then uh, shut them down. Very cool. And, you know, besides clicking the triple dots here and going to bookmarks and, uh, you know, right clicking whatever group uh, or folder that you have here, you can also do control shift B and that's going to open up your bookmark bar. You can see it just popped in down here. I'm going to close that again, open, close, open. And, you know, I, I don't like keeping this thing open because it takes away some vertical space, right? Uh, I do have a 2560 by 1440 monitor, but uh, I will take all the vertical space I can get. And from here, you can also just right click this one and do whatever you'd like, right? You can delete this. Uh, if I actually go to like a different page like for example if i go to example.com uh, i can just right click my tech news one and go to add page here and that will actually add this to tech news here if i'd like uh, by default and then if i were to left click this and by the way i didn't go over that but if you do left click it you can individually go to these sites at, at your leisure but yes you can see example domain is here and i can also right click this one and delete it as well but yes very nice but now you might be thinking well I don't know, I have all these different sites that I want to bookmark and I don't want to like individually have to like go to them, add page, go to them, add page. And this is like, you know, starting to get picky with automation, but there is a way to actually do this uh, very quickly. And I'll go over this while we make a new uh, category here as well. First of all, let me hide that just so it's uh, kind of way there. But, you know, if I go to, I don't know, like github.com and whatever, some other sites, like let's just use uh, example domain and GitHub for now. If I go to these sites, then I can put all of these in a brand new bookmark tab very quickly by doing control shift D, like D as in uh, Daniel or something like that, not B or whatever. Um, but you can see here, maybe we'll call this one like other news, right? Tech news uh, was already previously there. Let's call this one other news. So if I do that and I save that and we do our other hotkey of control shift B, then we can see that there's actually nothing there. Why is there nothing there? That's a very good question. Did I actually cancel that dialogue just out of habit? So control shift D, um, Oh, you know what I did? I probably actually put it in, there we go, right? Uh, we can see other news was created inside of tech news. And if I actually cancel that and go here, there it is, but I didn't want that. So now we're gonna discover some other features off the cuff here, which would be doing control shift D and then being like, you know what? Actually, you know what? I want the other news to be in bookmark bars. Apparently you can drag it. Um, kind of interesting, kind of figured you would be able to, but we have outs there. So what could we do? Well, we can go to bookmarks here. I guess we can go to bookmark manager, control shift O. And then we can be like, okay, well, there's tech news there. Can we just drag that out in its own thing? No, we can't do that. Oh, we, maybe we can. Nope, nope, we can't. How do we get this thing out? How, how do we get it out? Oh no. Um, well, in that case, we just delete it, right? Maybe let us know in the comments below if there is a way to do that. I don't wanna like ramble on in this video forever. 
But let's just say for argument's sake here, we deleted it very quickly. Let's fix our mistake here. We'll do our control shift D. In this case, let's just put this in the bookmarks bar as other news instead of uh, tech news there. And then we will be good to go right there it is. And we can just left click, left click that, go to what we want. We can right click, we can put that into a new tab group. If we want to open up two different sets of them, we can have two different tab groups here and we can just left click to expand them as we want and life is all good. So that is basically how all this works. Of course, you can also right click this and delete the entire group if you'd like. Can then control shift B to give you some vertical space back. And uh, yeah, you are good to go. So with that said, you know, if you have any questions about any of this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.